Runoff election night wrapping up here in Alabama. Voters deciding on a few races ahead of the general election in November. The big race we're following, the GOP runoff between Mo Brooks and Katie Britt. Let's take a look at the results there. Actually, it was an early night because uh, Katie Britt Lee taking 64% of the vote with 69% of the precincts reporting. Mo Brooks with 36% so a very large lead. We have team coverage from both campaigns, WVTM 13's Bria Douglas in Huntsville with Brooks, John Papke with the Brick campaign in Montgomery. First, John, what was the theme of Brit's victory speech as we see her large, large lead? Well, I will say, Guy, it was gratitude and the fulfillment of the American dream. Now, you can see some of her supporters are still lingering a full hour after she finished her 20-minute message. But earlier tonight, the uh, warehouse venue in downtown Montgomery was, pack, was packed with supporters as she took the stage. Katie Britt kicked off by... Uh, saying we did it. She shouted we did it. She continued by describing her underdog status at the beginning of the campaign. She recalled how nobody but her family gave her a shot against a longtime congressman. In the end, she beat Mo Brooks with almost two thirds of the vote. She talked about growing up in a family in the Wiregrass with working parents who ran a small business, then worked her way through college, graduated from law school and landed a job as a U.S. Senator's chief of staff. And she said her ability to overcome the political odds is proof the American dream is still alive. Alabama has spoken. We want new blood. We want fresh blood. We want someone who will fight for our Christian conservative values, who will fight for the freedoms and liberty this nation was founded on, and will fight for that American dream. <laughs> Now, Britt, of course, thanked her family. She thanked countless uh, co -work, I mean, uh, campaign, campaign workers and volunteers that knocked on doors during the campaign. She also offered a special thanks to a certain U.S. Senator from Tuscaloosa named Richard Shelby that she said gave a young college student a shot in her office. Well, coming up, you'll hear what she had to say about how listening to voters' concerns helped her in this race. Live in Montgomery, John Papke, WVTM 13. All right, John, thanks. Let's check in with Bria Douglas with the Brooks campaign. And Brooks coming up short tonight. He spoke earlier, Bria. Around 8.15 tonight, Representative Mo Brooks conceded the Senate runoff to his opponent, Katie Britt. He says now he'll have more time to be a better husband, father, and grandfather to his 13 grandchildren. <laughs> Brooks supporters clapped as the six-term congressman took to the stage at his watch party in Huntsville. He thanked the crowd, but then the speech took a quick turn. He accused his opponents of mudslinging during the primary and blasted them for trying to buy the Senate seat. When referencing Katie Britt, he said Alabamians were sending a person to Washington, D.C. who stands for the opposite of what the country needs. Despite losing the Senate race, Brooks said he covets truth and honor more than being a U.S. senator. The voters have spoken. They might not have spoken wisely. They may have been, dis they may have been seduced by brazenly false advertising, but nonetheless, they have spoken and I respect their will. And this was not a close race. At only 24% of the ballots counted, Brooks trailed by more than 40,000 votes. In Huntsville, Rhea Douglas, WBTM 13. Well, Britt moves on to the general election. That's November 8th. He will face, uh, she will face, excuse me, uh, Democrat Will Boyd.